Hello everyone, and welcome to Nexus Edge. I'm your host for the segment, Wono, and tonight I'm joined by the captain of Celeb Gaming, Met. Thanks so much for joining me, Met, and welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm very excited for this. So to start, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and the Celeb Gaming team, and just how did you get your start in competitive HOTS? So yeah, so for those who don't know, I am Met, uh, the team captain of currently known as Celeb Gaming. Uh, we have been around under different banners for a long time now, starting back in, I think we started getting our name out when we were a team name change, uh, like last Div uh, HEC Open. Uh, we played in NGS, then that turned into Broken Alliance Gaming, and now we are Celeb Gaming. Uh, throughout that time, I have been the captain, and we've been uh, had a various of different roster changes, uh, and that's a little bit on the team. Currently, once again, we're Celeb Gaming. We have a roster of Satad, if you ever seen him around, uh, Evasion, Slip, and Hunter CJ. And now for myself, uh, I got started in competitive HOTS a long time ago. Uh, I mean, I was always playing HOTS, not so much competitively, but more just playing the game. I started when the game was in beta, I think, and I've been playing since. I really enjoy the game. I think the game has a unique taste to it, a different play style, and a whole new level of play that separates itself from the other MOBAs, like the big ones like League of Legends and Dota. So I kind of stuck with the game. And a little while ago, maybe around a year at this point, maybe two, around there, I started getting interested in the competitive scene. And I made a team. We were all gold at the time. And we slowly worked our way up, got better at the game, got more involved until you know, we ended up where we are today through various different processes. So what I picked up from all of that is there is hope for lowly golds like me, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, it's kind of like that that story. It's that underdog 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 story. Like uh, anyone could do it. I think we had even articles written at NGS calling us the underdogs by like Tempest. That's all I remember, and it, it was super awesome. Like no matter what level you are now, whatever what playstyle you are, if you keep playing and if you put your mind to something, I mean. Trust me, you, you'll get there and you'll be able to do what you really want. I know a lot of people say that, but trust me, I've been there uh, and we made it. So there you go. Awesome. Uh, you mentioned that you guys were uh, active in the HGCO. How did you guys take it as a team when the announcement to Axe HGC happened? And how did you guys keep team morale up and keep wanting to stay together and playing competitive HOTS? Mm. So this was a very interesting time for us as a team. So we uh, were like massively back then with our full with our roster. It's different now. We were super gun ho about going to HEC. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, we were pretty convinced that we would make it, or if not, we would be a top one or two HEC open teams. We knew the teams that were ahead of us, or like you know around the same skill level, and we were constantly practicing them. We were scrimming pro te pro teams. We were honestly ready for the next HE season and when the news hit everyone kind of took it differently so at this time for me uh, I actually just finished my back surgery and I was recovering I was literally laying in bed and I just woke up to a bunch of people you know like texting me like oh yo look look at this look at this and I saw this I'm like wow this is this is crazy I mean I didn't take the news har as harsh as everyone else because I still had hope initially in terms of when I saw it I'm like oh you know Hots existed before there was a uh, yeah, centralized pro scene by Blizzard, and now there's a stronger community, there is a stronger force, and a more fleshed out game. So with HEC gone, I thought it was okay. And me personally, uh, I think the way HEC was formatted, it was a little iffy in terms of, I think it wasn't, I'm not going to say, it was the production of it was amazing, except the it wasn't like marketed right or there was a lot of issues with it and i think it was hurting the game so as much as it killed me in the team that it was gone for me personally i thought it could be a good step to a good future it just depends how everything plays out in the future uh you also mentioned morel am i correct on that yeah i just because you said you kind of talked about how you took the the news but at, like team as a whole how was everyone doing with that announcement yeah, so we had multiple talks about it when we found out of the news. Uh, pretty much, have we all of us agreed on like, yeah, we'll keep playing. We just want to lower the amount of time we've been scrimming because pretty much when the AGC Open uh, was active, 
we were screaming like every day for multiple multiple hours so we wanted to cool it down a bit mm -hmm. uh and but everyone agreed to still play and stay at a team and we actually took it relatively well i think uh sorry excuse me as the time went on two of our players uh great guys max Zorin and vader they had to leave because you know with hc gone they needed to find new avenues for jobs for you know uh for work and they left to do that and take care of uh you know personal situations they're amazing people they you know honestly love the guys it was amazing playing with you and now we took in slip and hunter cj uh hunter cj is a returning member and you know everyone now is loves heroes we're excited for div s we're excited for all these leagues that come out and we're here to play heroes and i'm glad for that Awesome. Yeah, glad to hear you guys were able to, to bounce back as a team. I can understand you mentioned two of your members there ended up leaving the team because when people see the HGC and that's all they're working towards when it's it's gone, that's kind of their, their job prospects and their career is gone. So it makes sense that some people had to yeah. move on, but I think myself and the community are really happy that you guys managed to stick around. Uh, I'm glad. You guys mentioned some things like Div S. Uh, I also heard you guys just competed in your first LAN tournament in Montreal, right? Yes, do you wanna, uh, LAN ETS. Yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Was it your first LAN for yourself? Oh, yeah. So I think it was most of us' uh, first LAN and most of us first time actually out of the country uh, as you know, as a team. It Wow, it, it was amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> first of all, it was uh, it was crazy to set it up and to, get, and to actually get there. It was a whole bunch of stuff was going on that I don't even want to start getting into. <laughs> <laughs> but we managed to get everything going. We got everything working. We all managed to get some sort of way to get there. And uh, I got there. I arrived at Montreal after like a 12-hour drive. My soul inner was in there for our drive. We had about 30 minutes of rest before our first day of playing. Oof. Then we played for about 14 hours straight. <laughs> oh so, I mean, it, it was so much fun, though. We were It was yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> first time into Canada? Uh, me, no. It was my first time into Montreal. I went to Toronto. Uh, it was a lot of our teammates' first time actually in Canada as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, oh, it was. If you guys ever have a land opportunity, let me just say, like, go to it. It's the coolest thing after making a play, looking to the right of you and high fiving a teammate, like walking back and forth during draft, like hanging out after, like when we won, we all got dinner. It, it was. So much fun, and I really recommend it. It's just, it's just that that edge that puts you above other players, I guess. <laughs> Play like knowing who you're playing with and like hanging out with them. Yeah, was it actually your first time meeting a lot of the guys in person? Like, had you been able to meet up with any of them before that? So, th most of the team, no. The only player that I knew uh, is Evasion, and that's because. Uh, he was one of the players that stuck with the team from all the way back in the day when he was like golden, I was golden. We were practicing together. He was like my, mm -hmm. you know, duo buddy, and you know, we both made it up. And he's been on the team forever now. I knew him. Uh, I seen him before. You know, we hung out. Uh, we managed time to meet up. But for most of the other guys, I uh, know we have never never met up before, and it was really funny. Like literally at like five thirty, maybe six in the morning, I arrived at the hotel. I opened my door and Satat was just sleeping on the bed. He's like, "Oh, hello there." <laughs> <laughs> so that was, a, that was a great way to meet him. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was it was awesome. Yeah, it's it's got to be pretty cool to like. I'm sure you've seen pictures of the guys before and stuff, but to finally be oh, able yeah. to put the faces to the voices and actually physically interact with the team. Exactly. Yeah, it's just an ex it's just an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of our players here, obviously you've talked about being in gold before, and I made the joke about being in gold, but a lot of our players and a lot of the people in NGS kind of run the full gambit from bronze all the way up to grandmaster. So not a lot of people have the experience playing the game at the level that you do now that you're pretty much at the peak of what HOTS play is. So obviously without going into too much detail, can you just give us a rundown of like what a typical practice or scrim session looks like for the team? Now, I can answer this in two ways or both. So I can kind of give what it was when HEC existed, and I can kind of give now if you'd like, or I just one or the other. Uh, I would say both, but for sake of time, let's just focus on Dude, what it's looking no. like right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so for now, pretty much how it is, uh, we kind of run the same schedule as we do before. We leave pretty much uh, Monday, like the whole week open except Tuesdays. I mean, going in more detail, and we have like about five hours open for scrims each day. Now, how much we play that kind of determines on 
what team teams we find or uh you know who wants to scrim or whatever the such like when we have matches but that's generally what we do uh we practice a lot uh to be honest with you we actually do practice a good amount uh in scrims we kind of have like two kind of scrim mentalities uh even even want to break it down more things we want to try and things we want to practice before a match it really just depends on the time but we kind of do one of those things and we kind of nail it down and going in a little bit more detail with you know not taking up too much yeah. time uh we have like a, a focus of each scrim meaning that we want to focus on team fighting if we want to focus on macro if we want to do uh, a certain comp certain play uh, we would focus on that specific thing throughout the scrim. And that's kind of like different avenues we take in each scrim block. So would you say, like, if, say you're focusing on a certain comp, would that run across multiple maps and multiple matches for the scrim? Or would you just use it for, like, one specific map and then move on to something else? It really depends on the, the map, or, like, the comp, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, like, if, if it's a certain comp that's good for one map, we'll just run it on that map. But normally what we do is we take a comp that's good for a map, and we play on every map. So we can see okay. this is why it's good, this is why it's bad, and stuff like that. Gotcha. So, yeah, just basic, like, what are the comp strengths, what are their weaknesses, why are they good here and not here? That's exactly good. Uh, is there anything that the team does to prepare specifically for matches? Like, do you guys have any sort of special pre-game rituals? I don't know. You've probably seen athletes have all sorts of crazy rituals and things. Oh, so yeah. Is there anything that you and the team kind of do? or? So I don't know too much specifically about the guys on the team. Uh, me, personally, I mean, we all we normally warm up before a big match. Or, like, you know, let's say we have a tournament. We all, like, warm up and play together. Mm -hmm. uh, that's normally what we do as a team. Me personally, I kind of just like, I mean, it sounds weird, but I go in tri mode and play Orphea. <laughs> I just put Orphea? down the cooldown. <laughs> just Orphea. I lower the cooldowns and I just practice cues over and over again on the Arthas bot. <laughs> that's what, that's what oh I do. Uh, or, you know, sometimes I walk around my house and like get in the zone if it's something super big. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I know on that topic for me and my, the team. Cool. Yeah, I've heard that some teams like to do, like, they just go into an ARAM, all customs, like, just fun, wacky stuff to kind of get the nerves out, but... Yeah. Do you guys do, like, team league at anything, or just, like, in yes. customs, warming up? Normally, try and find a team uh, to, to warm up with. Just it like doesn't a, really, like, any any skill, just, like, just, just to, like, get scrim, us... Yeah. Exactly. Just, like, normally we do is, like, one hour just to play the comp that we would be interested in, or just, like, you know, warming up comps and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're getting close to the end of their time here. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, now that you guys are kind of, I've said it a couple times, you guys are at kind of the peak of what competitive HOTS is now. You guys are aiming for Div S and have a good chance to make it in. Uh, is there anything that we at NGS and the com like the amateur community can do to help you guys keep this scene alive and keep it growing? Yeah, so, uh, so there's a few things. Uh, I mean... I kind of was I was on I was on board right away. If you ask anyone, like I wanted to keep the scene alive, I wanted to you know make sure that Hots was still there because a lot of people were worried. But the biggest thing is for any community NGS or just anything is give a reason for people to practice, and that's the biggest thing. If people want to practice, they'll play Hero League, they'll play Team League, they'll encourage their friends, they'll do scrims. Give a kind of like how you know Div S is like. Look at this prize pool money. That's all uh, crowdfunded. You know play for this that's mm -hmm. encouraged a lot of people to come back to the game that encouraged people to start grinding again playing he uh, hero league team league and that's the biggest thing like for anyone that'd be interested or you know for like ngs i love what they're doing you know like give that reason for these really high tier competitive players like hey this is why you should you know practice this is why you should play the game so you can be you know rewarded so to speak in some sort of way and i think that's super important and overall just for anyone like anyone could help the scene just by playing the game i think that's the biggest thing playing the game and watching these leagues ngs div s uh, you know like the glad man tournament things like that is uh, fight night if you watch it and you show viewership that is the biggest thing you could do if you could send it to your friends or whatever the such may be those numbers really do add up when it comes to like sponsors it comes to bringing in more money into the game that's really the big biggest thing and once again heroes existed before uh you know hec with a lot less uh stability and structure there is now and there is a lot more now and it can totally strive without it awesome well uh thank you for your time tonight matt i've really appreciated it uh just want to before we close things off uh any final words any shout outs anything you want to say 
So yeah, so first of all, thank you, you know, for this interview. Really appreciate it. Thank you, NGS. Uh, thank you for all the leagues, uh, you know, that are coming around and you know putting these things together for us to compete in. And I'd just like to thank our sponsor. Awesome. Well, thank you again for your time tonight. I look forward to cheering the CTV boys on. Thank you. You too. Take care.